Fiery scenes are expected at a meeting in Auckland tonight where the Pacific Island community will voice its concerns over the gay marriage bill. Labour's Mangari MP Sua William Seo has said his party could lose Pacific votes over the issue and tensions in the community remain high. Well, Reverend uh, Wasafili Unasa joins us now on the coach. Thank oh, on the coach. Even on the couch. Thanks very much for coming in. Uh, just Good morning, Robert. first of all, uh, just explain why the meeting's being held this evening. Well, the meeting really comes out of, as you said in your introduction, out of the comments made by the member for Mangere around the issue of gay marriage and the reaction of the Pacific community. And what we have seen has been the issue debated at the extremes of theological conservatism, uh, political liberalism, and we are really looking for the opportunity for the Pacific community to come together, have a reasoned uh, conversation, uh, understand the process, and, and have their say. What sort of uh, opinions are you getting? Because it seems to me as though it, it's the division between the traditionalists and others, the young and the old, maybe those born here, those born in the islands, or, or those who believe or, or actively uh, worship and those who don't? Well, uh, the, the issue touches a, a nerve in terms of the Pacific understanding of their faith, particularly a Christian tradition, but also uh, it's perceived as a undermining of their cultural and traditional values, which is really the framework for their way of life as well as the family. And so this issue really is about the heart of Pacific way of life and understanding of the world. But it's not one where you say they all believe and live this particular way or that particular way. We have a very uh, clear understanding of our theological and religious um, way of life, but also we live in a, in a contemporary secular world where most of our people uh, understand and live their lives. So there is no clear uh, division between uh, this is really where everybody's at and the rest of the world lives there. We, we move between those worlds. Hence the conversation which we're having as a nation. Do, do you think this is about gay marriage or about homosexuality in particular? I think it's particularly about um, homosexuality. It's an issue that has been debated in the churches for a long time. Pacific people are involved in those debates and so it's really about what I said before about the undermining or the perceived undermining of Pacific values and their religious understanding. Have you noticed in the community that there is this uh, groundswell to possibly uh, withdraw support from uh, from the Labour Party over this which is what was obviously being alluded to? Um, you know, traditional, very strong Labour uh, voting force? Well, I think Pacific people have tended to approach life in, in a pretty pragmatic way. Now, if they don't like something, they, get, they don't go to it. And we saw that in some of the figures of the election last time, Pacific people didn't enjoy um, putting their vote to Labour. I think the change this time is that we have uh, Pacific people thinking about where they're going to put their votes and that's through the proliferation of political parties but also uh, Pacific candidates who yeah. represent a different brand of politics and so now I think Pacific people quite rightly will be going to the polls and saying do I really want to support this? Uh, what's in it for me? And will my um, issues and my aspiration be fulfilled by the Labour brand of politics? Fantastic. Well, we'll look forward to seeing what comes out of the meeting tonight. Reverend Wasafili Unasa, a Pacific People's Advisory Panel. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.